This is That Comic Smell Podcast, featuring your hosts, David Robertson, Fernando Pons, Giuseppe Lambertino, Mike Sadaka, and Tom Stewart. Oh, you will that? believe that was brilliant as yeah, well. Really good. Come on, big man. Pull this one. Hey! Hey! That's it. Marbles, you love your marbles. <laughs> I lost my marbles. Oh, wow. You love your marbles. That's a good. That's a good cracker, I guess. Looks crackers. A heart for you. Oh, oh thank you. you. What did the cheese say to itself in the mirror? Don't know. Hello, me. Oh, God. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, that's all. That's all. That's all. Is, is that joke legal? That's a bon appetito, hon. Yeah. All sort of comes off. Ah, cheers. Thanks. Mulage. Nice. I thought if we were going to do Christmas dinner, we should do it, mate. Try and get a small wine, a bit of juice. Hot toddies! I could do a hot toddies, you know? Right, he almost could do something. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Buon Natale! Buon Natale! Feliz Navidad! Oh, what are we doing? Got me on hold. Ah ha ha! Ah yes, yes, yes. Yes. So you go. The... So just so good. Tenth anniversary. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. And then this one. And I have often seen Calvin and Hobbes in science books. They they love uh, putting on uh, uh, bits um, in science books, especially dinosaurs and space, mm-hmm. because. He's got such an imagination, he, he goes into space, he can change into a dinosaur, and he eats his school colleagues in the couple yep. of cartoons as well. Yep. He, also, mm. he also pretends he's an astronaut, and he's speaking to aliens, <laughs> when sometimes he's actually he, talking to his teacher. So, like that. Sometimes he is he's a alien. Yeah. Blah, blah. There's the one that I saw the other day, which was he was a slump. Oh, he's what hell, you've all got a shitload of Calvin, haven't you? Oh yeah. Well, you've you got, got it as well. I've got none. There's always that question, is Hobbes a magical toy tiger, or is he simply a figment of Calvin's imagination? And the author, I don't think, has ever got the intention of uh, letting us know on that one. We have to judge well, by like ourselves. Well, do you need to? Not really, no. Well, that's the, that's the thing about it. You don't need to know whether if you see imagination mm. or not, whether it's real or not, mm. whether it's a toy or not. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's the adventure, it's the comic strip, it's yeah. the back to the childhood. It's the seeing it as a child and is that? reading it and not really It's the innocence of a child, is the imagination, is the adventure, the, the man, everything. Yeah, then, Do you need to know to whether it's a toy or not? Read captions. I like the bits when he's trying to wind up That's his uh, babysitter, Ross. Mm-hmm. Ross looks like a, a student who's trying, trying to get some money 
Yeah. And he just torments her throughout the whole caption. Yeah, Sometimes they'll have like a few it, days worth of uh, oh, yeah. stories. Uh, it's because day after day. And then you want to Google it? Yeah. Honestly. Just so good. The Revenge of the Baby Sub and Scientific Progress going uh -huh. bomb. Uh -huh. And then that one has. It's when he's. You can go on with us from another planet, and this one has. He's got one Something there. under the bed is drilling. Yeah. And the first one, Calvin and Hobbes. Which is a, there's a good one I always remember where he's sitting up on the, on the diving board and he's getting ready to dive. And he's, he's commentating like it's on the telly or something, like he's coming up to the board. He's got his pose, all like he's like doing the full thing, and then when he goes to jump, it's the last panel, and he's just the way it goes straight on his dad's stomach. And I just that's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And you can just see him like <sighs> <laughs> a lot of them continue on. Yes, well, which is good. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. I know, like I've, I've oh, that's recently nice like, that one's they they're like that. Yeah, but that's the sequences. Because my son was asking me, Dad, do you have anything I can read? And I said, Well, if you take care of them, but well, you have to take care of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can read Calvin and Hobbes. And he read the whole the three books in like one week, just wow. a night time before I'm going to bed. <laughs> and I was downstairs in the living room, I could hear him go, Whoa! <laughs> laughing out loud and I say, just your sister's trying to sleep, so just you know, give <laughs> the ball, you know, oh, that part is so funny, look at this, and look at what the tiger is doing, and look at the mom and dad, and I look at I say, look, just 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 <laughs> chill out. And he's eleven. Like, He's 12, and he's absolutely. 12. This is the he first just, time he's really, really. He got right, it, and, right. it, and it just. Oh. There was one of them that is when he's talking about the food and how the mom is trying to convince him to eat. I can't remember which volume it is. Mm -hmm. And he goes, like, uh, This is the food, it's gonna become the same thing. He did it, I was so monster, and it yeah. just it takes over. And <laughs> he, he was just. Loving it, and he says yeah. it's so good. And he's talking about it, and I said, Oh, dad, Calvin and Hobbes have they made anymore? And I said, No, that's no, that's for us. I'm aware that's all they've made, is it? Yeah, what them three you've got there? I Collect think so. well, these are big collections of yeah, there's those like, books, you know, each right. of these volume has two of those, mm -hmm. right? So I have this, and then I got this one as well, but that's it. It's about I think it's 10 years, 10 years, yeah. and the 10 years he stopped. Oh, there is only 10 years worth yeah, yeah. Mm. of comic strips combined. Yeah, it looks like week on week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they but it's oh, wow, so that's the, the full job there. I think so, yeah. I think. There's I'm a complete sure. collection. Because I think like 150 books or something. Mm, so. Where did you get them? Um, online or at shops? Shops. Yeah. Shops. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something. 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 The first one I got it. are they? 10 quid? 10, 11 quid? At that time. No, now. now. They're more expensive now. Oh, right. Oh, because this, oh, when is this one? From? Just that well, oh, this I one I bought. The first one I bought in James thing. There we go. Oh, this is not. Oh no. Yeah, look, right, this one's three That's right. Nineteen ninety-two. This big one is ten ninety-nine. The thing about this that. one. Oh, uh, just before I do. This one's nineteen uh, ninety-nine. It's got lots of bits where the author <laughs> is explaining things, and I'm just. I just opened up this page here, yeah, yeah. and he's uh, he's actually talking about when he was a kid. Oh, no, not when he was a kid. His his wife found a dead kitten, and he he decided to make a story about Calvin discovers a, a sort of dying raccoon. Yeah. And he made a story of that. He's like departing from humor just briefly, but it's Sorry. it's a continuation. So he confronts something that you don't normally see in uh, uh, daily morning. Comics. Yeah, his dad tries to save it, and then it, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't survive the night. And then he starts to question, like, what what was the point of of life, and what's the, what's the point of that happening? Mm. You know, he found him, but he didn't manage to save him. And you know, why should he have to have to die, and everybody else has to live, and all this kind of stuff? I guess deep <laughs> as anything. <laughs> I'm just doing to check how much that is. I've got a man as a wish list. Oh, I see. This. So you've been no, the big treasury. Oh, okay. all of them. What is it called? The complete. Uh, is it? I wonder if it's bigger as well, or do you think it would be sure this? It's like a box or something, isn't it? Yeah. It is, it's in a box. It's, in, it's all bound up in one big box. Brown. It's like other one. Oh. So it's separate books in a box. It's a nice yeah. one. Right. Oh, 
Last ah, one. I'm reading the last one. It is amazing. That book that, I, that you led me, I loved it. Uh, 45, 50. The Complete Sweet. Carbon and Hobbs. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's what's that. Yeah, 45, 50. Yes. Four, ah, in a box like that. Four uh, big, massive editions. Wow. Oh. I've just seen the last one. Well, that's really, that's uh, actually but interesting. Though. Bryce Wise. Even when it's coloured, he's got this huge, How many books? Four? huge Four. expanse of so white, and he's like, like "Let's exploring." And it's got that picture. It's, uh, it's quite a one to, to end on. Oh, Forty-five yeah. fifty. It's good. Yeah. Forty-five fifty. So about price. eleven pounds each book is well worth it. To put it into perspective, if you don't have any. To put it into perspective, for those four books in that big collected edition, it's forty-five fifty. Howard the Duck Complete Collection Volume One <laughs> is twenty-nine fifty. Like I'm sorry. Minutes. Howard the Duck. Yeah. For one volume. In Howard the Duck, that uh, you like Howard the Duck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like Howard the Duck, but but if I can only choose one, it has to be oh, Calvin Hobbes. Yeah. Personally. Yeah, exactly. If I remember right, he's not even really. He's not like a little shit, is he? No. He's just a little boy, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not a little. Yeah. He's not a little no, Dennis no, no, the Menace. No, he's not no, no, a little no. uh, Masher from Masher and the Bear, is he? He's not like a little. He's just all, a little. All the story is his part yeah. imagination, part yeah. of his thoughts as a child, looking yeah. and reflecting into the other world. Yeah. Oh, this is cute, yeah. This guy does. This, my life could be a lot better than I'm happy, but it's not like I'm ecstatic. <laughs> life is like topography, Hobbes. There are summits of happiness and success, <laughs> flat stretches of boring routine. And valleys of frustration and failure. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's beautiful. So, yeah, see, Calvin Holmes to me is just that. It's just magical. It's, mm -hmm. Did, you can read it at any age, and it's just, it connects. It connects with was you. Is this the only thing you ever did? This mm, chap? What I'm sure there has. What does he speak to I want to say. political cartoon. Yeah. 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 Did this oh, win gosh. stuff when it was out, when it was current? It was it was a big deal as it was yeah. coming out. Everybody knew it was great. Well, mm. right. yeah. So good. So, so good. I like, I like his dinosaurs. He, he does pretty good just, dinosaurs. He does pretty good dinosaurs. He does, actually. You've got a Tyrannosaurus in the grocery store. There's not much you can read. You can't really say much on it because it's just, it's just perfect. Yeah. Like, there's nothing, yeah. you know, it's just... It is what it is. It's 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 singular. It's singular. It's ten started. years worth of per like absolute perfection. There's no lulls. I don't think there's a lull. There's none of them that I look at and go. Nah, the quality so of when you're looking at the strips of ten years and you look strips from the first year or the last year and from a fan, mm -hmm. you look at it and think this is incredible. Mm -hmm. The pacing of the the, the, the structure of it and it's not that easy to get the structure and the pacing right mm -hmm. especially because you have such a limited amount of space and time to do it and he had a little bit more on the Sunday pages he was yeah. a little bit more there but yeah it's, it's the quintessential comic strip and probably you know, it's at the top there. Mm -hmm. You you have to mention peanuts, and then it has to be yeah. Calvin and Hobbes. To Peanut, me, those two peanuts is had its lulls though. There is some of them yeah. they, they don't None. resonate. Yeah, some of I them are a bit too um, intellectual sometimes. What about the far side? Heavy. I'm a big fan of the far side. Gary Larson is actually another one who went on for uh, but. 12, 13 years, and then he just quit at the top of his mm. game. Never came back, except for one time when he released a book about worms, which in itself is quite funny, but it was like a standalone book. It's a good idea, though, because if you start to feel it, if, if the artists start to feel that mm. they're maybe you know, getting to that point, it's a good idea just to cut all your head, because then you end up getting to an awful point where people start saying that's good, but it wasn't as good well, as... That, we don't know about, I mean, Watterson, because he's always been quite... Yeah. He's always been avoiding interviews, and yep. he's no. Well, it seems to be that's not what he's about. And whether his decision was 
this is the best I can do. I've done. That's me. That's my pick. I leave it now. I quit now. I've yeah. done what I wanted to do. I don't want to go down and make it a, a kind of a weaker mm. art or, or weaker story or anything like that or have any loads there. So maybe it was the reason. I don't know. But uh, certainly it's undoubtedly the, the quality, the, the, the standard of the story, the way that they are made, produced, is wonderful. The imagination. Mm -hmm. The imagination to come with that idea, to draw in that particular way, to have, you know, the tiger and the child and say, yeah, that's, you know, it's just fantastic. Mm -hmm. There is also that page, for example, here. You just see portions of the little story, mm -hmm. but it tells you everything. You don't see the tail, you see the head mm -hmm. here, and you know, Pause. No, it's just wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Absolute masterclass in comics. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, he was good at drawing physical action. Ah, yeah, like, yeah. Like this. Calvin and Dad's dog. That's like from a William Blake painting. That that yeah. could fit in there, no problem. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no. That's the thing. Like he, he could, because he could draw all other styles as well. Yeah. If he wanted to. You've seen mm -hmm. it when he, in some of the. It's like stories that Calvin is telling and it's just... It's like he's just flexing his creative muscles at that point. He's just like, you know, you think I can do this, well, let me show you. That, I was a way, just a way of mentioning that one, where they're talking about getting divorced and all that. Is that where that's that. from? I... Oh, let me look at that. Yeah. So what's oh, yeah, the deal with this particular one? Well, read it. Well, read it. That's all there. So you read it, take your time, read it, and yeah. look at all the details. You just get caught up in it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah but you, you can't, you can't just put it down. It's, it's, it's so good that you can't just just talk about it if you have the books in front of you. Yeah. Because as soon as you open the book, you, just mm -hmm. you want to read the, the page. Yeah. Because it just grabs you like that. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to read as well. I know some of the stuff can be quite wordy and quite deep, but it's... Okay. To me, yeah. Calvin and Hobbes it's still is so easily read. To me, yeah. Calvin and Hobbes is for someone who's never read comics or has seen that it's Calvin and Hobbes. Never got one. That would be. This is a perfect book to give us a present. Mm. Uh -huh. Definitely. Because they'll enjoy it, and it's it good. just reaches. Yeah. So many people on so many levels. It's one. Of, it's one of the best. I know it sounds very, uh, it's, uh, I'm kind of diminishing it a wee bit, but it's one of the best Twitter pages that I follow, I would say, to Oh, I follow it as well. Is the Calvin Hot, because it comes out, it's like daily, mm -hmm. um, every sort of two hours or so, they'll put up a new part mm -hmm. of the story strip, or they'll maybe put one of the, the bigger ones in between one of the colour ones and in between whilst telling the full story. And it's just it's so good just to work your way down and then just get this nice wee surprise of a Calvin and Hobbes strip in between. It's, mm -hmm. it's like reading the newspaper. Yeah. You're making your way through oh, all the news articles and everything else and then all of a sudden you know comic strip. Yeah I've seen it in this layout which is slightly different to that layout. Yeah that the yeah, yeah, that's, that's, it's slightly darker than that. Yeah. That's longer. Colours are a wee bit different. That's <laughs> Look at that. Every little thing is perfect though. It's like seeing him running around reminds me of being a kid. Well, being that, being is, that age and being having that energy to just That's that is Well that is this the spirit of it. Yeah. Beautiful. There is um something uh, in in an interview in uh, I think this book here, he mentions about uh, Calvin's relationship with the girl Susie, how she's strong and intelligent. And um he says afterward that she's actually pretty much the same as his wife. Yeah. So he, he kind of went for um, similar to, uh, I don't know if he met her before or after he, he did, he created the character, but he said the similarities there were uh, uh, intriguing. Yeah. Well, he, he would have pulled from, from a lot of her <laughs> life and, and certain things, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just... Yeah, I'm going to have to get some. I, I remember thinking that after I'd borrowed that and read it, yeah. that I wanted to get some. Yeah. Yeah. It's just one completely. of the yeah. things that is. It's, it's, and the peanuts, but yes. more so this than peanuts. Pe peanuts collections can set you back a 
a couple hundred quid. If you get all that, of, where is that? Forty five pounds. You got everything. Yeah. And the quality is consistent. Is outstanding. As as Tom said, with the peanuts, it's the longevity of it as well. Mm-hmm. But the quality is nowhere there. All the topics change as well. It's, it's sometimes. because it's gone on for so many years. Exactly. Because it's been on for so many decades. There's yeah. gonna be lol, lulls in between. You know what I mean? Mm. There's gonna be points where he, you know, he's a bit too tired with it or something, just wants to get it fucking banged out, and that's yeah. it. Didn't Schultz carry on till his early nineties? He for peanuts. Yeah. He practically carry out, mm. carry on till he died. Yeah, died. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So not ones that didn't make it, sort of thing. Uh, his his last strip was published the day he died. Yeah, the one the the ball. Because I remember, yeah, late at night, it was the, the story on the news was, uh, oh, and the last peanut strip is published uh, tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And then I went to bed, and the next day the news was, Charles Schultz has died. So, like, he'd finished three months before and said, I'm stopping, I'm retiring now. So, the, he was always, like, three months ahead of Yeah. Fucking hell, it was that day, yeah. so. Yeah, that was the day, yeah. That's how I remember it, anyway. Last strips. When was that? The 90s, or? Was it the year 2000 or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 that's the I remember him dying. So yeah. Yeah. The end. Um, Were some life. always colour and others not? How, how, what's the colour situation? Sometimes, Sundays. Uh, Sundays weekends, Sundays, uh, yeah. Sundays, Sundays like colour. Right. Colour so if they were originally then in these, in these collections, they tend to do them colour again. Yeah, well, that's the Sundays, isn't it? Yeah. Like no, well, this you get there's, there's black and, black and white, black and, and then you get the Sunday color. page. Black and white, uh, and then you have the Sunday yeah. pages. So the color are the Sunday pages, and then the rest are your. I like the daily always. I like it when oh, Tom has to start to explain things. And yeah. It just tells them all the lines, just makes it more rubbish, and, and really expands on it. Oh, my boy asked me today why like grown ups don't get presents from Santa. Right. Oh well, yeah, they still do. I said to him. Well, it's cause. Good question. Yeah, it just said it we it. already had ours when we were Yeah, kids. I said. I said he's got enough to do with just kids. Yeah. Yeah. Speak for yourself. I, I still said, get I said, presents. It from that Santa. I won't like one. Yeah. I said I'd love one, <laughs> but you know, he's got kids to 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 be seen. To. I said there's kids that don't have parents that need presents or something. Yeah. It is like being a kid, isn't it? Yeah, it's so good. You need to get some. Yeah, I've got about five or six books. In it. You just want to read as much of it as possible. Yeah, it makes me kind of want to get it also because I'm already looking forward to... Thing is, you never know. You can never plan these things like that. You know, like your boy loved it. I love my boy to love it. Yeah. But then, what if he doesn't? He might go, come on, that's like... I like it. Well, my my boy started to read when he was very young. And then he got into comics and things like that. Because I read comics. And I got in front of him, so he go, oh, what's that? And I said, well, that's that. Uh-huh. And then he is not to read comics, but he prefers to read the old Marvel comics and the old DC comics that I used to read when I was a child. He yeah. done, he done the modern ones. See, the modern ones, he goes, yeah. no. no. But Unless there's something specific I like, saying that something actually, more yeah. like Adventure Time, for example. Right. They're quite, they're really good. Yeah. Or... Teen Titans Go, based on the cartoon TV series. Uh-huh. This is reason. These are funny. Yeah. But other than that, any other superheroes, he reads the Steve super, Disco. Superhero squad. Cartoons. Steve Disco, okay. uh, Spider Man, Jackie yeah. Reese, Fantastic Four. You know. Oh yeah. That that kind of stuff. He enjoys that. Yeah. He loves that. Well, he, he just reads and reads. That's the stuff like, right there, isn't it? And that's I said, well, crack. you know what? You have a really good taste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I said, yeah. don't give me a bit. I said, I said, I don't know. I prefer that. Oh, oh Christmas Day. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Just that one picture. That is lovely. Yeah. Christmas Day, isn't it? Yeah. Merry Christmas, Calvin and Hobbes. Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Calvin and Hobbes. Even that yeah. cover is, is very nice as well. Like yeah. That, yeah. 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 The fire, the snow. Doing the snow. There are in the newspaper, Sweet. comic strips. Yeah, brilliant. And this was obviously at a time when kids did play out more, so he is generally running well, about. He does yeah. mention telly a lot, doesn't he? But he is yeah. out and about. Yes. Uh, Hobbs, is Hobbs a cat, yeah? Yeah, Hobbs a cat. Hobbs is yeah. the tiger. The tiger, yeah. okay. Tiger.
It was just start by we'll start by Es Esmeyer. Esmeyer. Esmeyer by Beam Muir. I like the colours in it. <laughs> yeah. Um vibrant, mm. very primary colours. Very cartoony. Yeah. Red it is it is like it's very red, blues and yellows. They seem uh, one colour dominates a page and then yeah. you turn flip the page and you see another colour dominates it. You seem to spot that now when you see blue play, uh, blue pages yeah. then you've got uh, yellowish no, ones and then like reddish see. ones. And I really wonder about the thinking behind this, the, the colour choices. Yeah, to me that was something that, to me in particular, I found it difficult to connect because I wasn't sure the colours they had a meaning, was something behind as a tool to the story to move along. I, was, I wasn't quite sure with the art itself. It's no the style of art I'm used to anyway. Mm. It's really good. Red, red, it's red, keeping red. the style very much to you know, the whole book. Consistent. It's very consistent from that point of view. Um, I find it a little bit difficult to get through the art myself. I, I quite liked that it. it was like... My water, preferred a clean art. It was like watercolour. And it was all like seeping out of the edge of the panels mm -hmm, yeah. and stuff like that. And, and, and into the speech bubbles and all that kind of stuff. Like it's just... It just kind of all melds in. But it's... Yeah, I liked that it. it kept it... Like if you go through it, it's, there's, there's barely any secondary colours. It's all kind of blues, yellows, reds. There's a couple of greens, but just where it kind of overlaps. And that's it. The rest is just your three primary colours, and that's it. Which I just found fascinating that somebody could just stick with those colours and still make it interesting. Um, that was probably probably my favourite book I yeah. read. Uh, it's very sort of Sherlock Holmesy, mm. um, but there was a bizarre message at the end which I'm not really wanting to go too much in there yeah. but it, it was saying it was sort of connected to uh, like myself I used to live in London so uh, the, you often hear tales of uh, people uh, so mm, well tales of people uh, passing away and not being discovered for a very long mm. time oh, right. that sort of thing see I liked I thought this as I was going through, it may just be me, but I thought like when he's walking about and stuff, I thought it looked like, like sort of France or Italy or something hmm. that he's walking through. Like a dream, like I thought it really gave you a, a sense of that's where he was, like the streets and all you know, the weedy paths through the parks and everything like that. I thought it just looked more like a sort of European town as opposed to mm -hmm. somewhere here. Yeah, that definitely. To me, it, it's there's more of a European. Uh, atmosphere yeah. of the of the town and the city Very itself relaxed, uh, than, than more perhaps a British one. There was maybe the Central yeah. Europe or France or, or there is yeah. more of that. Not like, like uh, Victorian London, like the original yeah. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, no, not so much that. Something that did take me by surprise was I actually managed to get through it. <laughs> because yeah. it's animals. Right. Yeah, I, I was yeah, thinking I about that. you with that one. Yeah, I think it's the I think it's the style because the way it is, I wasn't jarred by the. It's more it's absolutely the it's not yeah, too it's, perfect. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's I, I was. It's more, not too how it would be if if it was. Yeah, yeah, I think I was more taken by the style and the way it was done, so it offset what was actually going on on the page kind of thing. So it's like it allowed it enabled you to read it, didn't it? Yes, it really does. But I would, uh, I would recommend it. I didn't know, didn't realize that Ismayer's the name of the town. I think that's mm. in the very start, but I didn't, I didn't clock. And then they say it later on, like, oh, here in Ismayer. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, right, okay. I thought it was going to be a political one to begin with because you have the Prime Minister yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at the very yeah, start. Yeah, the very start. Yeah. But there, there was another similarity between Sherlock Holmes because Faustein gives treats to uh, what they call street urchins. He gives them cigarettes, very young ones, cigarettes uh, for information. Actually, Edward gives them them. Mm. Oh, did he? Yeah, ah. first, first thing gets um, taken aback because he says, You give kids cigarettes. <laughs> He's like, Yeah, he goes, I like you. <laughs> I yeah. like your style. <laughs> well, Sherlock Holmes used to give uh, money to uh, the uh, homeless folks so that they could keep an eye out for yeah. him and right. so he could help, help, they can help him crack the case. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so at the end of that, he, he, I think he gives a hint that there could be another one, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. another one. Yeah, it works good as a singular story as well. Mm. It's uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. And uh, yeah, it's, it's one to look out for, definitely. Cool. Uh, FLD or Flood by Bob mm. Turner. Anybody read this? That's another bright yes. one. Yes. Yeah. I, I read like that. Yeah. Sort of well, bright. Uh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. read, Bob. watched it. I scan it, whatever you want to call it. Bob's <laughs> style is that he doesn't work with words. Words. Yeah. He mm. just works solely with pictures. Mm. It's a bit of a religious oh, yeah, it's actually it's easier. easier. That's his point. Is he mm. tries to make it more accessible and easier for people yeah. to get into? I think it's. I think he's more. Well, every single panel must require so much more. Not as much as you would think. Yeah. Really yeah, no, I mean, he keeps everything. Him. Yeah. Oh, it right. must take him so much more to produce every panel he, because he doesn't have the aid of words to. He works quite quick to. to Convey anything. He actually works really quickly for what he does because he's he's put up progress panels mm-hmm. before. Mm. And I then within I like a week he's done. Right. And you're like, yeah. I like I like plot or FLD. I like the cover. Mm. I like the beginning of it. There is certain the mini sense so of the yeah. Yeah. Oh, Japanese yeah. style yeah. Yeah. iconography, yeah. the fish, and then I like the mm. All these yeah, different yeah. iconography. Yeah. Did, uh, did the color and the and the art itself very crisp, mm-hmm. very clear line. Mm-hmm. The structure as well. I it was really, really good. Yeah. Very. Normal. I really enjoy it. Like, the story itself is. There's not much in it. No. It's a short story anyway. Uh-huh. But very enjoyable actually. It's very Noah's Ark. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty much. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the what I thought was the religious element of it. It was. Pretty much no that, but there's one other thing. Does and I like this part here, how the water, you know, is filling. Oh, yeah. filling. I, f- I find Bob's style to be really, really like, absolutely breathtaking. I think, it's, I think it's incredible. Just so, so vibrant. Um, like, if you go near the amazing. near the end, do you notice it was? Uh, did, did ah, it? that'll do. Uh, does anyone watch Gumball? The, has anyone seen the Amazing Adventures of Gumball? Yes. There's a character identical to that called Icarus. He's basically an eyeball with wings. Yes. Oh. Pretty much bang on. Yes. Did it, did everybody read um, Bob's previous uh, work as well, Death Rattle? D T H R T L. No. No. That's that's a, that's that's the same character from Death Rattle. The, the eyeball the with eye, wings. Eyeball. Oh, right. No, the eyeball guy. Uh, oh. oh, the eyeball guy. There. Ah, he's up against death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> but it's, death rattle's really good. Um, but it's the same kind of thing. It's, you know, no words and... So the eye of yeah, I've seen an island. Like, okay, yeah. let's go over there. I can follow you. But he works so quick. That's a three-part series. And then oh, he went on to FLD. Place the island, here we are. Okay. <laughs> set fire, set house. Here we are. At the very beginning again. If you go back, <laughs> if you go back, there's yes. one that I really, there's a page that I really enjoy because it shows the passage of time, literally there, literally just with a circle. Ah, it's literally just a circle getting bigger and disappearing, and it gives you complete perfect. Mm. Just how it would look if you're looking at the sun. There. It's very, very, very simple. Yeah, yeah. but it's so effective. Yep, it's really so well effective. Oh, very, really? very well thought. I, I, the way that he works, the fact the fact that it is meant to be that like anybody can read it, is I, I think that anybody kind of, can read it in any language. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. He's trying to just reach as broad as possible. Um, I think it's quite gut punching. Ah. It's quite gut punching at the start as well. That yeah. you, you literally have a death. Yeah, the, 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 the wee purple. Yeah, wee purple, thing. Yeah, wee purple yeah. thing just floats away and dies. One of them. Oh, I can't remember why because as the yeah. water goes. That's it. Yeah. There's that one. There's one in here. Yeah. Come on, come on. You get this. I think there's like one panel with the other one's got a tear. Yeah. Yes. And then yes. Yes. The in the boat. Yeah. And then here. One mm. tear. And that's it. You know the, the way every Dick. every page. There's no set panel structure. You know, and reading it on on the screen. It's, it's all different shapes, you know, every page is different panels, different, and, and as you go through it, it just started looking like a load of different 
abstract pictures and mm. you didn't know what page was, if you were reading it, like, so it was interesting that way. I would have liked to read it in a book. Yes. I probably would have contained it more. Mm. Yes, he, he, he does but, do it very well in a book as well. See this flying thing? Mm. It's a dream. There was like a flying eyeball in a flying <laughs> world. Wow. Mm. I mean, they're different. It's, it's merging into a pupil. Yeah, it's somehow yeah. in dreams. Because then he's figuring out what he needs to do next. Yeah. Sort of mm. um, that's, remember I said the thing about Death Rattle? That he had the page that was just like 36 panels or something oh, on it. Yeah. That is yeah. what I was on about. Yeah. And it, it makes up for one big yes. picture. Sometimes I don't understand why. See, whenever you get a picture and it's like one big picture, with many panels. And just turn it up in a load of panels. Just just think, like, why have you done that? <laughs> because each panel yeah. really is a movement in time, you know? They're like, usually... That well, unless there's something being But then you, maybe you, you want that. to show the, the progress in a page. Well, like this is an example. Like that, that sort problem. of... What? Like, like a hill that's a going down? Yeah, and then there's other things. <coughs> that are there that that's are like what's happening whilst he's... <coughs> yeah. So as it's traveling, like, I just think, why is that not one picture of that hell? Yeah. <coughs> and I guess there's no answer to yeah. that. But every time I, I see it, I think, why have you mm. done that? Yeah, other than a design thing, it looks nice. I can understand that. It is. It's, a, it's, it's like it makes it a comic. It's if it had been one big picture, it would have been like, well, that's just one big picture. Talking to interpretation, so then, one panel equals a close up. And if he walk, <laughs> if he was able to walk off the the panel, you wouldn't see him till he reaches that spot where he's <coughs> the other panel. So there's a big gap that you might not see. That's that's one way you could look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm thinking of like Alan Moore did it in big numbers. You know, there's one day in a set of kitchen, and it's like a load of panels, and it's a table and people yeah. around it doing stuff. But you can also read it as, you know, each panel the time has moved. Yeah, as yeah. you read down the page. So it's one big picture cut well, off and something, it's also Yeah, art. something's going on. Yeah. So yeah. I guess I'm always expecting that. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, and yeah. you know, that was a hill and maybe the time was passing yeah. between them all. Well, that's what he's telling you. That's yeah. what he's telling you. As you see yeah, things so happening, yeah. that is, you, is the travel, yeah, is the bit, you the journey. Nothing in great detail. He never did it in... Like time passing. He never did it in flood though. No. He never did that again. No, I don't think he did. Yeah. yeah. But you don't have that as he sends the, the eye away flying. Yeah. Because the time passes, you know, he's going to do the washing, you know, he's waiting and waiting. Meanwhile, this one is going up and down, you yeah. see, nine times. That was funny, you know? wasn't it? I went and found yes. that, went back. You so know, it's, so it's kind of, of okay, okay. Well, yeah. oh, he's trying now. Have a look, it's coming or no? Yeah, yeah. Oh, new day. Yeah, oh, it's coming back. Oh, I've seen an, an island. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, that way. Okay, I'll follow you. <laughs> and then... The passing of time. The passing of time with yeah. the sun. Yeah. And the waves again, that's nice. I like the cartoony waves. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't enjoy yeah. that. I didn't Can you go to page 13? 13. The reason yeah. I say that is I've written here, page 13, uh, pixelation. Hmm. Pixelation? Yeah. So let's check it out. I don't have pixelation. No, the maybe, pages. maybe on the big. Is it 13? Page 13 then. Well, I'm not showing me the page. See the earth dripping water. That's, that's like it's a flood. Yeah. Yeah. So he's dreaming. There's yeah. the bits when he's dreaming what's going to happen. Does the number tell you what the number is? I've got, I can get the number on this one. 10. I'm just going to have to look 12. at page 13 again. Oh, yeah. 13. Yeah. That's not page No, it mm. looks, looks fine now. Must have just been the screen. Uh, no, I think I see what you mean. 13 looks a bit more pixelated. This one. When I was looking at it. The very top. It is. Right. More, if you zoom in a wee bit. Yeah. I was watching it on well, like screen right enough, not on a tablet. That's that one. It's yeah, so I just noticed that, I suppose. When he's letting the eyeball out. Mm. So the, point point the, the, eyeball. the first one is a bit more pixelated compared to the rest. Yeah. Perhaps it's emphasising it's ever a so slightly. Ever so slightly. Yeah, and saying this is a close up. Look at the difference in the <laughs> Yeah, no, if I 
Yeah, they you have talking. to really like yeah. them to see it, but. <laughs> Did you say only a pedantic prick? <laughs> really? But I mean, uh, <laughs> that's, that's twelve, though, is it? Uh, what? Pedant. That's a prick. <laughs> yeah, it looks fine. It looks good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the big selection one. will appear because that's the format. Yeah. yeah. This when it's printed. You won't get this isolation. FLD. FLD. Ah, that yeah. was really good. I really enjoyed that one actually. Yeah, yeah. Short and good, yeah, good, good quality. Good. I like I like that. Especially like the waves. The cartoony yeah. <laughs> Hokusai waves. And what was the other one? Yeah. Just some, it just just good. Was it self care and vegetables the other one? Oh that one. Remind me mm. another time. Was well, it self care and vegetables? I thought that was yes. really good. I, I really brought that um, Mr. Miracle. I forgot yeah. also to bring the Mr. Miracle as well. So I was gonna bring it up for for day to the week. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know, I saw a review of the uh, you're reading the, the latest three funk series of Mr. Miracle. It's good. They said it's quite good, they yeah. said that they I saw bits of it though, right? No. no. I haven't seen any pictures of the The storyline like... was Mr. Scott Free was like depressed. And he was sitting there depressed and he was yeah. no, and I thought, oh, what? That's like I'm sorry, to me old fashioned, that's the complete opposite of Mr. Miracle. Yeah, that that is such a lot of bollocks just the there in that right there. No, well, remember that's my biased take. No, okay. no, not your no. The fact that that's what it, they're setting it up as. Yeah. yeah he's, he's depressed, depressed, he's fed up now. And then like the whole point of him was he it was the two brothers, right? Yes. And and, and and Mr. Miracle grew up. It's, it's like the guy that's apocalypse. married to Big Barda. Yes. He's fed up. He, he How can anyone be fed up when they're married to Big Barda? <laughs> exactly. But Mr. Miracle was the one that was positive. Yes. And his brother yes. was the one that was <clears throat> grumpy and, yeah, negative. And that was the whole point. He'd overcome it. Yeah. And so I opened this and he's sitting there like, you know, miserable. I'm thinking, keep it. Keep it, mate. But I think also that it's getting a lot of plaudits, like it's the greatest thing. Yeah, like it's probably just that means, million, yeah, you know? that means for so that's enough, though, it? I, I don't want to read. I want to. Yeah. I, think, I think it's the same writer, Stone King. Yeah. Uh, so I right. want to read the Vision. Mm. Ah, I see, because that because they're saying that it's a quite good writer, the Vision, yeah. and it's about the Vision and his family. But there's more than just that. There is. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on. Plot bits and that. I fucking don't. But they they were on. They give you their own impression. There's certain there's certain characters to me that I can. I can. Go. For example, Mister Miracle. I can't go go beyond what Jack Kirby Mister Miracle is. Mm -hmm. That to me is Mister Miracle. Anything right. else is not Mister Miracle to yeah. me. Yeah. Now I understand they want to bring it to other generations, etc. etc. Oh, yeah. Well, fine. okay, fine. But to me, it's still that Mr. Miracle is the one to have. And something goes wrong, and despite all that, he comes and he goes out and he survives and he's the champion because he's Mr. Miracle. Yeah. And that's what's about. Overcome all the Super problems, everything that life yeah. throws at you. And keep going positive, keep going through that. And have a terrific alien wife. <laughs> My God. Yeah, I, there's a topic going on there. Yes. Yeah, because there's a thing. Yes. Right? Yes. So, yeah, you are. Absolutely. Yeah. There you are. So, yeah, Mr. Miracle, yeah. Jack Kane is Mr. Miracle. I never read any of it, but I saw he was a positive dude, that I think. Oh, absolutely. Oh, which yeah. obviously then reflected in the kids that read it. Yeah. Didn't it? Ah, I think so. Rather yeah. than. Some well, fucking I'm douchebag who's depressed. <laughs> yeah. That they've just done it because of mental illness. <laughs> just because mental illness is kind of on the menu today in news programmes and, 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 and kids and schools and stuff. Well, oh, yeah, it's... let's make him depressed. Oh. No, nah, it's both. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that does some work. That's a shit, that's a shit I mean, excuse, but, though. That's... But the thing is, it's, it's okay to talk about depression, it's okay to talk about mental illnesses. Yeah, but that's you, fine. But you don't have but, to change someone that it had nothing to do you with. You know, that's fine. Talk about it, do it. But you have something that works, that has worked, and it will work mm. forever. You don't have to it's change it. it yeah. There you are don't lots have to of characters it. that are depressed. Jack yeah. is Mr. Miracle. 
It's the perfect it's example. It's not one of them, yeah. It's a child mm. that went through hell, got adopted, sent to be fostered by evil incarnated, <laughs> go through everything and more yeah. of abuse, physical, mm. mental, psychological, and despite of all that, he came out as an adult, as a bloody superhero, <laughs> and he become Mr. Miracle, That's and he can go and do anything he wants, that's just he puts his mind to it, his mind mm. to it, and he does it. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's what about. That's what Jack Kirby wanted to do. You know, it doesn't matter. He went through poverty. He moved from Europe to United States. His family didn't have money mm. even to buy him a pencil to draw. He used to draw mm. in walls and pieces of wood, anything he could find. You know, he went through everything. He went to the Second World War. He went to Marvel. He created a huge universe. He was abused by it. He didn't let his mom and dad huge time. You know, he went to DC, created this. Jack Kirby was the example of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. He did it. And he wasn't, you know, hey, hello, I've done this fantastic comic, everyone talking about <laughs> depression. No. 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 I mean, now that you mentioned that and that there's characters like that, it's, yeah. it's true. It's like the Sorry, thing I've read yeah. recently. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 Gal America. the Galactus story. Yeah. You know, Iron the thing, Man. he's an ideal candidate for depression, mm -hmm. isn't it? I mean, the he's Hulk. carrying it. Yeah. He's always got it oh, there, yeah. 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 Without, in a dialogue. And I didn't realise from until I watched that comic book men episode about Kirby that it's, they it's mentioned him. that the thing is uh, it's modelled Jack on uh, <laughs> Jack Kirby, isn't it? Jack Kirby, <laughs> yeah. That's probably why there's a lot more dialogue going on with him than... Yeah. And that's why he makes it the most interesting uh, character in the Fantastic Four. Yeah, because, mm. you know... Johnny Storm, he's just... Oh, birds with blonde hair! Oh, she's alien! Oh, I'm in love! <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you yeah, 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 Yep, yeah. he's the most human of all. And he's the most popular of them as well. Mm -hmm. But even though I've never read either, I've got to agree that I'm with you on that. Mm. The group hey. one sounds like shit. I think we've had enough of seeing Peter Parker depressed, so... Speaking of mental health. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Speaking well, of mental health. Yeah. Self-care and rest. I read fact, that one. It's it definitely happen, not maybe. one if you're in a it's depressed a or sad mood. It's a... Uh, it's uh, the, the aftermath of breakups, mm -hmm. oh. and uh, a lot of people can relate to it, but some of the illustrations are actually quite charming, but uh, the story as a whole is pretty sad. Um, yep. But the opening line is an autobiographical, autobiographical breakup story. Mm. Yeah. I oh, wasn't sure if I actually that. got the full version, because it ended on a really sad note, and I was thinking, hang on. Surely there's more to it than... Because it's just letting you know Sounds that like shit like that Facebook happens. amplified. <laughs> <laughs> it's you not one where you can keep cheering up. That's a point because all these people that do these books, you know, it's not like the old days, you know them on Facebook now. Yeah. So you get, you get their ah, comments and their breakups. Phew. And you're like, oh, but that was uh, up a bit. two days ago. Uh, you know, boyfriend or something. <laughs> date something or yeah. Yeah. So, Some of so these illustrations were really charming, I think. I mean, like when you see uh, the lassie on her own, oh, and then it you it see her as a couple. Had the pencil drawn? Is it all? It's page? another. Mm. Do you know what? It's another one that's like big, chalky. It's got loads of panels. Yeah. Pages. So some of these pictures I liked, and, and it's hand handwritten letters as well, which yeah, are very quite good. The way it's laid out on Nando's as well, that's actually two pages per uh -huh. page. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Ah, right. So it's, it's actually it is actually one panel equals one page. Okay. So it's like. Hmm. Yeah. So it's always kind of port, portrait so like so that. So that's two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's two. Oh, oh right. Two. So oh, do you know how big the book is? is it? I thought that size, was a little bigger. It's about so. Oh, so small. Like half, yeah. Okay. <coughs> I love that one there. Okay, now these books is actually getting very hard to read at first. But there's, oh, there's, there's another like Manchester connection. That's uh, the, the map of Manchester. I really... I actually, I found this story very moving and very real, mm -hmm. and certainly the, the the creator make pass all the feeling into the book, certainly mm -hmm. the way it's today, and those were the days I felt most alone, mm -hmm. and those were the days I wrote this, and that shows you um, how sad and heartbreaking can be, these kind of mm -hmm. things, you know, and yeah, he's talking about 
mental health issues and depression, but you know, it's talking through it. it it's trying to encourage. It, it's it trying as to well. encourage the people. You know, it's mm -hmm. not the end of the world. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna say, it's tough yeah. as shit. Because he's saying, saying yeah, that if you get depressed from breaking up, you have mental health issue. No, 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 it's right. just it's just, then, just normal. Then, no, it's it, just talking through what she went through. Mm, what she went through. Yeah, she broke up. She got into a depressive state. Yeah. She got into anxiety attacks. Yeah, right. and that obviously led into lack of self confidence. You know, confidence on being in herself. You know, she was living in the city that she, she just moved, moved to. Yeah. That she moved in for her, yeah, for her family. But she didn't know anyone there. The people that she knew there was. You Three know, boyfriends. Mm. boyfriends hey, or, this is Manchester, though. I've lived there. <laughs> what a city! <laughs> friends, etc. So, but, and then there's also two So, it, it explains <laughs> relatively straightforward, that she should be but in a very her, effective so. way and also very full of feeling uh, and sentiment, what it's, she went through and how painful and how she's going through, essentially. It's the huge pages as well of isolation, like mm. ten minutes there and just her on her own, the writing above it. But you feel it. Three, you can those, see it. It's just those three last statements, those three page statements at the end, mm. truly make you feel the isolation that she is feeling. Just the, the those last those last ones. Uh, yeah. Does that? Does yeah. that? Matter? No. Yeah. There were days where my anxiety took over. And I couldn't face doing all the things my healthy brain had planned to do. No, there's a big no yeah. behind her. And then, those were the days I stifled my tears and held myself. Those were the days I failed most alone. Those were the days I wrote this. Boom. That's it. It's a really, really nice book. The art is beautiful. Oh, that was nice. I like the tree at the start. I like, yeah, like I like the different, yeah. That was nicely done. Yes. Mm. I like all the art that it, it, it combines different it good, it ways to do it. Yeah. And it's just black and white. And it's yeah. so effective. And it's just, it's a really, really nice book. Talking about something very serious. I mean, in a proper way. Yeah. You don't need to use superheroes. Use yourself. It's mm. a human life. story. Human life is autobiographical. This is a comic about depression. How it should be done. Yeah. No, Mr. Miracle. No, not through some sort of analog that everybody associates with happiness. No, this. Um, this is what you should talk about. That this page, is how it should be done. That page is right this, below. Um, is this all labour stuff? No, stuff? no, no, no. Uh, I think Rosie has done this herself. Yeah, I was thinking, this is like a mini. This is a self-published yeah. one. As far yeah, as it's good. Yeah. Um, how come you're reviewing that? Did you send it on? Please? She sent it on to uh -huh. us. Uh, she asked if anybody would like to so see it. So Rosie had a way. Very really good. I like Rosie's stuff. Just she's a simple little idea, isn't it? Yeah, it's she did well done. another comic on good comics a, called Co Cosmos and Other Stories. I read it and it's just lots of wee stories. And I that thought it was you know, they're just they're all they all resonate very quite, very nice. Quite well. she's very good, well done. She's got a good way of um, the art's good. I like the art. She's got very, a good way of getting very, through the story. The story the art. Emotionally, just yeah. with like very minimal art and quite just phrases. You know what I mean? Nothing, nothing too sprawling. She's got a good way of hitting you. Yes, absolutely. Um, that 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 page with all the bills and stuff the way it's laid out, like a oh, grid, like all the cards and the monies and everything. That, to make it, amazing. yeah, to make it like show you like this has taken up most of my life and this is the small section that I've got to care about life, but this is the rest of it's being taken up with all the debt and everything that I'm having. You know what I mean? That's what it is. It's like all of that. Yeah. It's like all the money and everything that's taken up in that small section there is like the rest of our life kind of thing. And she's trying to minimise it as much as possible, but it's just they're kind of crippled with pockets of debt and anxiety which ties along for the right. It's very true. I've been I've been through something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I moved away somewhere and had to come back home and didn't have anywhere to go except for my mum, said no job and all my friends had ditched me and had tons of debt and I just had to pay back and yeah, shit. But you get through it, and that's what she's trying to emphasise is yeah. that, you know, that she might have went through all this, but at the end of the day, she managed to make something out of it. You know what I mean? She managed to do something, achieve something on yeah. the back of something. And the important thing so is, is, is to tell it, to tell the story. Mm -hmm. To tell that, to, to make sure that there is that. Um, 
It's, it's a good way of yeah. to try to heal yourself in a certain way. Express it, tell that, you know, share the story with everyone. Um, was this only released digitally then? Was it not a... No, she does them in small zines, but she takes, uh, she takes them, I think. I think so, so it looks quite short. You can buy them. It's a short story. I think you buy them on Etsy. Right. Of what? Etsy? Oh, right, Etsy, uh, yeah. A lot, of these, a lot of these ones that I put up digitally, you can buy them on their Etsy or through whoever they've been published. Or like, like these next three that I'm going to speak mm. about, they're, they're through Good Comics. That's the three I've read. That's what you've read. FLD, this one, um, I've got them all, except for that one you showed me uh, a moment ago. But I'm going to have to go. Okay, sorry. I'm going to leave you to it. Right, okay, so. Great stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, no, thank you. Right. Yeah, cool. Um, when you go, Mike, you want to lead? Okay, uh, New York, The Holiday to Remember. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that one. It was another good one with nice artwork, and it was another sort of photo biography story where it was based on someone's uh, someone's trip. And I went to New York years ago and it kind of reminded me of the time I wandered around uh, Manhattan but uh, the main character, she, uh, or, or the Elizabeth, artist in real life. Elizabeth Quirstrand. Yeah, see the funny thing is I never put any of the author's names in this. Um, she, uh, she ends up injuring herself and she's got back pain yeah. and uh, uh, luckily she has a, a, a partner that will support her and uh, um, who hates selfies? Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but has been my like, massive cheesers when yeah. he takes them. Yeah, and uh, she meets her, her family and friends and uh, people she hasn't seen for ages. And there's one nice wee moment. She meets one of her friends and she says, it's "Just like, uh, just like we never separated, and uh, you know, we're not talking about the old days. We're talking about as as if we'd never." Uh, never gone away from each other sort of thing. That reminded me of uh, some of my close mates uh, in London, I went and visited them and uh, you never, you, you kind of start off as if you've only just saw them the other day or the other week. Mm. But uh, the artwork was brilliant, nice use of uh, the New York landmarks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to point out, among New Yorkers, it's the Chrysler Building that uh, is the favourite, not the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building. And uh, she, she drew a nice one of that. She's very good at architecture. Yeah, and yeah. that one, that, that's spectacular. It's Chrysler, the one that's like that. And it, no, the Chrysler's you know, like, like, yeah, uh, you know, it's, like the thing. it's got gargoyles oh, on it. Here we are. You often see Batman standing on the oh, corner no, no. and queuing Serpent, the uh, horror film of a pterosaur living in there. Uh, New York, it was nesting on the, in the Chrysler building. And on the Spider-Man animated series, Kingpin had his headquarters in the, mm -hmm. in the loft. Mm -hmm. But um, I, 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 would, I would recommend that book. It's, uh, it's really nicely done. And yeah, it's got some particularly good pages, mm -hmm. like uh, the food on the plane, when she's describing what they had on the plane, and it's like the journey as they're going. So like the next, kind of the next stop, then the next... Part as they're as they're going through the journey is like the next meal sort of thing. So it's the it's telling you what she's getting, but in like a banner mm -hmm. flying through the air kind of thing and showing you the, the food as it's going. Um, Do you know that I've mentioned this before, but that's there's definitely a thing going on with a lot of cartoonist comic people that. They're moving away from the comic panel page, you know? Oh yeah, it's a single it's page. It's like single picture or a few things in a picture. That's a good example of the, the plane and the... Yeah. It's, it's I, think it, I think it works. I yeah. know I've said it before. I think it's more accessible for people. You had said it before, it's easier to read. So I think it is. Yeah, Cause, because people aren't like something going, right, that's a page. Yeah. Uh, that's a page. It might be difficult if you're translating it in Japanese and sometimes they reverse mm. mirror image yeah, their yeah, pages, yeah. so it could cause a wee bit of confusion. There is times that she does use the panel structure, sure. but yeah. she only uses it like two. Yeah. Because um, it is like single panel, single panel, single panel. And and then, what, I really like it's the way she drew her, her boyfriend. Oh, the big beard and the yeah. glasses and the Yeah. I found that I really liked the drawings of him. Especially in those selfies that you did. Yeah, the um, I just like that he's saying like I hate selfies. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. got a big massive cheeser on his face. Do you know if she did the that from yeah, photographs? Yeah, I really like that drawing. Yeah. Do you, do you know if they're from photographs? That looks yeah. like it's directly copied from the yeah, yeah. photographs. What I'm quite, what I'm quite uh, enamoured with is the fact that it was done in this year, 
Mm-hmm. So that means she visited New York, came back, and did this entire yeah. comic yeah. in this year. Uh-huh. And it's so detailed, and all the pictures we have, it's not that. Mm. That looks yeah. like it's directly copied from the photograph. Yeah, but still, like, yeah, yeah, drawing it out and yeah. everything, like, still takes some time, you know. <coughs> yeah. Even like drawing yeah. another half and everything as well. These are definitely like they're like Instagram pictures, mm-hmm. and then she's just drawn like as close as possible. But still, it's oh, it's still yeah, it's some feat to oh yeah, it's good work. Really mm-hmm. good. It's funny because a lot of the things are like there. It is like Instagram photos. Yeah, it's like she's taking photos. Of the whole holiday and then just drawn them out. Do you know what I thought about this one was? It was like a straightforward holiday diary. No, I mean yeah, it's got the illness and that. Right. So you just kind of tell me that. That's, this is what I found it quite cute. Yeah, it was quite a cute comic. It was just like, yeah, on holiday. This is what happened. Mm-hmm. That's what it was like. Uh, I wrote it was down nice. that it was an, a delightful alternative to viewing holiday snaps. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, probably. <coughs> um, I've got written here mindful and and excellent wrap up and I can't oh. remember I can't remember what that was about. Um no. there was something like she's she's really she does wrap it up quite nicely. There, there was a sister there eh, that she didn't see mm. me for four years and then Yeah. Um that wasn't the end though. It's such a short time I experienced quite a lot in physical and emotional and mental capacity. Uh-huh. I had cried tears of joy and pain, tasted new foods, seen impressive architecture and sights. I had experienced New York and loved every minute. Yeah. I came home with one souvenir, a back support. Mm. And more importantly, I returned with my best friend and partner, having shared lovely, re- what? rememberable moments. Yeah, memorable. Yeah. Remember memorable moments. I feel very lucky to have someone who doesn't get phased by my commotion, but wow. also equally lucky to be with someone who is up for adventures. Um, but there's something else. There's like a... There! That's oh, the epilogue. Yeah. Uh, give me an important reminder, which I hope now, I can focus on positive facts and enjoy the emotions they give. By doing this, it puts the negative elements into perspective. The negative does not go away, but it is not fed with attention. The artificial worry is muted by the positives. Bad and unfortunate things happen, but there is good out there. That's amazing. Mm. It's a definite trend, isn't it? Like my 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 depressive feelings, my yeah, my, how I relate to the world. Uh, here I am being brave, telling you about it. Uh, you know, it's yeah. a definite trend at the moment. Mm-hmm. Maybe it, trying people trying to put their story out there. Yeah, yeah, your very personal story about how you're dealing with the life. Yeah. Page 28, did you say? Yeah, page 28. I, I don't know. I I've just read here. Two panels of seagulls. Yep. Ah. Yeah. With the seagulls sort of overlapping. Ah, ah okay, yeah. That was me thinking, yeah, about the format. Like, there's two panels, and then the thing of seagulls flying around the panel, <coughs> outside the panels, connecting them. <coughs> it's, almost like a, it's almost like a tattoo. That was like, yeah. When you get stuff and then you get stuff just to fill up the spaces. Do you know, it relates to me looking at the hill, going, look at all these panels. What is it? I'm always like, what's yeah. between these panels? You know, and between the panels here, there's literally <coughs> seagulls flying around mm-hmm. in and out of the, the panels. You know, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, so the other thing I wrote was page 32. Oh, good street scene. Good detail. Page 32. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 I like that, yeah. Hang on, there's no letter. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually something I found quite surprising in New York, but there wasn't as much as I thought there would yeah. be. I did see a, a, a dead rat. <laughs> yeah, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Last ones. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, so New York by uh, Elizabeth Quirst. Yeah, that was good. Good. She did something on Avery as well. I mean, these, ones, these ones are all good comics. Oh, they're good. Yeah, they're the ones yeah. that good, good sense. Nice, yeah. Um, they've got other ones from good as well, like their back catalogue, but these are the newest ones that have come out. Um, but she's done another one on Avery, uh, which was Walks with Lulu. Well, that's nice that in colour. She's done this one in colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's just like a, a stranger basically says, like, oh, you can walk my dog, and she goes and takes her out for a walk, mm-hmm. and it just shows you 
which takes them about, you know what I mean? Yeah. It takes her about. Nicely coloured. Reminds yeah. me of the outdoor, uh, that, that countryside book. She gets it, she captures a... Uh, Joel Hatchers. Ah, yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. She yeah. captures a Westie quite nicely as well. It's just, you know, quite short phrases and yeah. more focused on the, the dog itself. But that's yeah. another one that's like, it looks like pictures. Mm-hmm. And then she's just drawn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah good. Um, but yeah, she's good, yeah. <clears throat> it was just, I, I, I saw the name and went, I think I might have them somewhere. Mm-hmm. I'd read that box for Lulu, so it was good. Um, Sid by Olivia Sullivan. <laughs> did you read this? Yes, I think I did. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see. Okay. As did I. Yes, I did, yeah. Okay. David. Sure. Right, okay. <clears throat> Can you get it up? Yeah, yeah okay, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I've written it. I thought it was really good from the start. Mm-hmm. I, uh, th- I think there's a sheep or something. Yeah, or oh, a ram there. Bah. Right. Yeah, I liked that right away. Bah. I thought, right, we're off to the races here, right? <laughs> and then there was a headbutting story. like that. that. That was at the start as well. I, I got headbutted. All right. And then there was a, a little detail of deflated Pepsi being drunk. I think that was like page two. So these little things were just, there's an immediate, you know, you read a comic, you're like, right, I'm going to like this or not. Like, for page one. And, like, you get immediate reactions, right? So I was, this this was my immediate reactions. I like this yeah. stuff that was being included. Um, so somebody says, you know, matey. All right. Mm. So, yeah, there's kind of, like, things going on. Yeah, you know, matey. And I, th- and I thought, well, what's that mean? But then it was explained. So I thought, that well, that was good. Was it? Yeah, I can't remember though, but I've written that it was explained. So oh, for, for a second, there was like, well, what, what's happening? It's kind of like Gus and his gang. It's, the writing's so small. Yeah, it hurts my head. Yeah, I was lucky to watch it on a big mm. screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it, it, well, at some point, it says day 45 all of a sudden. And I've yeah. written that and I've got a question mark. Uh, so again, it's these feelings of something's going on here. And it was just a few, uh, day 45. Of something or other, you know. I thought it was interesting. Olivia was writing a male character mm-hmm. in the book. They were mm-hmm. doing it quite convincingly. Yeah, that was good. And uh, yeah. and then as it's going on, you're you're realizing that he's on medication, and mm-hmm. you know you start realizing this is the effects of his medication. You know, I don't know that. It was reminding me a lot of you know John Adams comics. Where like yes, where um, you know reality is kind of breaking down. Yeah. Uh, I mean, his perception of reality and everything's disgusting. You know, there's loads of horrible looking stuff. <clears throat> but a lot of time, John does it, and he doesn't give you a reason for it. You know, yeah, it's, it's kind of happening. Well, I kind of felt like that with this. Yeah, this was medication, and I thought, in a way, that made it to me more. Oh, okay, he's on medication. So anything that happened then, it was going to be like DTs or whatever. <laughs> I got put in a box in my head. Oh, this is a bit of a guy going through. Yeah, something. Withdrawals or whatever, you know. Yeah. I was a bit confused about it all. Body honest. horror. Body horror? Uh, a little bit. Mm. I thought it was like. Yeah, horror, you know. a wee bit. The disgusting stuff on, on in the mouth, on the eyes, mm. and all the foam. And yeah, it's just like. Yeah. It's not very a very vomiting as well. Not a very attractive looking character. No, no, he's not at all. I've got a little another thing that the, the different sizes of the font. Now I was looking at it on a screen and it was zooming in and zooming out. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, well the, the lettering's still small and it varies in the comic. Mm. The, the, it's not a set size of font, it changes a, a, a lot. So yeah. so I noticed that. It's very it's like it's very dark a lot of it's like really mid-tone colors like just all really dingy and dull yeah, yeah. which really brings the mood down on it oh yeah absolutely yeah it was, uh, yeah <laughs> it wasn't for me it wasn't, wasn't like a cup of tea um, again i guess it's the same idea of here's what they went through yeah, uh, you know this happened to me, and uh, I'm gonna do it as a horrific imagery kind of thing. Right? I don't know. Mundane. I don't know if it was like because you know? it's because it's a uh, is it all right? It's a different. 
It's a different character and well, stuff as well. Well, been well there. yeah, but you can just change it to the other sex and then throw people off the scent. Is it meant I, to I'm making stuff up. I don't know if it's so yeah. or not. I don't know if it's meant to be left up to perception, uh, up to interpretation or what. But then whether it's really based on stuff that happened to them or not, it's still the same thing. Yeah. In a way, it's still... It's quite... I'm on medication. Mm. It screws me up. Mm. Yeah. It's quite, like... Very dark. Yes. It's very dark. It is powerful. Um, I've, I've written very striking and surreal imagery. Mm -hmm. It does stick with me. Yeah. It has really stuck with me. Like... Mm. I just have to see that pill on the front cover <coughs> and I, I can imagine all the stuff that's inside oh, of it. You're having flashbacks <laughs> from, from having read it. Yeah, mm. I mean it's interesting. I like mm. I like the way it looks. Yeah. I like the way it looks and everything, but it's just it just wasn't for me at all. I, I couldn't really I couldn't really keep up uh, with what's going on. I think that might have a lot to do with the content. Is yeah. that <sighs> it's never ending and, and, and growing worse all the time. Yeah, it's, it's like, like I said, it gave off, it gave us the impression of an altered mental state. Yes. But it achieved it. It very <coughs> much achieves it. Yeah. If, <laughs> but again, to bring up John Adam, he, he's done a comic very like this that's not out yet, but I've read it, and it's it's the same kind of idea. But that sucked me in a lot more. Yeah. I remember, I, I, mean, I was reading that feeling like, Reality was breaking around me as I was reading it. It yeah. was unreal. This I'm, I'm, I'm observing this, you know. I felt very jarred reading it. I was kind of like, oh, yeah, what's yeah. happening? I guess that means it's effective and powerful. Oh, yeah, it? yeah. It They've definitely. got across what they wanted. Mm. I don't think, I, I think I maybe just didn't... It's just horrific, that's it. I maybe just didn't uh, relate with it. Ah. I didn't, it didn't, it wasn't wasn't really relating to it personally, so it just never yeah. really resonated properly, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but it did, it did, it did feel, it felt like there was something really deep going on, but it was maybe just a bit too, too so for myself, you know what I mean? Like I just, it was too deep. Right. There was maybe a message that was going on that I just wasn't getting. I think that's true what you say about relating to it, you know, no matter how good it is, even if, if you just don't relate to it, you know, you're not going to get like, well, it's great, but, mm -hmm. yeah. it's well done. But. There is one interesting comment that hasn't been mentioned mm -hmm. yet. Um, in my notes, I have, I have uh, summed it all up as nipples and cakes, shattered terracotta warriors, uh, goats, and religion, lots of throwing up, lots of bizarre gory scenes, and there's a bizarre tables turn scene with the weird deer. But in the middle of it, there's a calming moment, like a gap in the craziness where he comes across a lagoon oh. or a lake. Oh, that's and it's really sort of a peaceful oh, yeah, moment right. when he sees it. And all, all the craziness is sort of gone. It's all that it's, happening. It's like the eye of the storm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the safe place. Mm. Yep. So all that craziness is going on before that. All to do with goats and pills and fucking. But then you know, in a way, it also ties in this kind of trend with the graphic medicine. There's a lot of comics now that are about you know people writing them that the illnesses. Mm. They've got serious illnesses and it's how to deal with it and get through life. So that there's a whole load of comics about that and all as yeah, well. Yeah. And this is like a, a bit of an offshoot of that. Mm. Mental of this is. Well, it's not even an offshoot, is it? It's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's good. Yeah, you, you, you'd probably I learn some. Yeah, definitely. Other than... It's very well structured. Yeah. That uses panels quite well. Yeah, it does actually. Um, and I, I think... There's a specific niche group that I think would relate to this very mm -hmm. much. So, yeah, but it just wasn't myself. Doesn't make it doesn't make it necessarily mm. bad in any way, shape, or form. It's far from it. It's, no, it's I think it's, it's very good. Yeah, it's visually stunning. I think it's it's good use of color, very well illustrated. 
and they are trying to tell a story from an unconventional standpoint. It's just that I, oh, it goes right over my head. So, but then I'm quite, I'm quite dumb when it comes to stuff like that as well. I've said that before, but like, Morrison's writing and everything, I'm like, I just don't get it. It's just too, it's too intelligent for that. Like, you know I mean? <laughs> Oh, that's, oh, what that's, people, that's, what, yeah, no, that's what people say, you know what I mean, like... No, I wouldn't compare that to Morrison, no, I actually didn't mind that I hate Morrison. But you know what I mean? Right. Do you know what, earlier I was, I was saying, toilet, masses of food. Yeah. Right, okay, so here he is at the toilet, and then he's woken up almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It's maybe that. I think it was just less than... I think, upon horror. between you two, I think I'm more sort of veering towards Tom. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's uh, not the sort of comic I would really get into, but oh. I do appreciate it for what it is. Mm. To hear you look, speak to himself, I don't trust you. Okay. Yeah, I that's, that's, the, that's the depths of depression right there. Yeah, it could be. You don't trust yourself, you don't trust any actions. Yeah, syringes. Yeah, it's a lot, it's, it's heavy. Still though, I would, still I, would great say, work. I would still recommend it to somebody if they were looking for something, something different. Mm-hmm. If somebody genuinely said, oh, I, need, I need something a bit more out there, a bit, a bit different from everything else, I would definitely point them towards it. Yeah. 100%. Uh, right. Stir Fry mm. by Sarah Crosby. Yeah, very funny. Okay. <laughs> very funny. Um, it's yeah. almost. It was very easy and quick to read. Yes. Um, very yeah. enjoyable. Good to humour. This is more conventional. Yes. Mm-hmm. Panel structure, stories, very anthology esque, but even though it's her yeah. just doing each mm-hmm. of the stories. That's right. It's a different part, but. Yeah. A different part of the story every couple of stories, so it'll yeah. be like one part of the story and then another story and then going back to that one from previous sort of thing. Mm. I was um, wondering if they were all going to meet up at the end and be like one big story. Well, that's what I was thinking, but no, that didn't happen. happen. So that was a relief almost. Yeah. yeah. That but was a load of different things. Yeah, it was a surprise for me. Yeah. It was a surprise ending. But the twists and turns in it, my yeah. God, like, just totally left field. Like, you just think it's like... A uh, woman trying to get a baby to sleep on the bus, and they're all yeah. going to help her or whatever. And then, like Satan shows yeah. up. <laughs> well, <laughs> even, even well before Satan arrives, before the devil arrives, that's actually a very lo- relatable scene. Yeah, mm-hmm. most of yeah. us have had that and been that's in that right. scenario. Yeah, but that seems like you just the baby or listening to the baby. Yeah. They all they all oh, sort of right. they all sort of start as if they're going to be like these very normal stories mm-hmm. like even with the fly it's that thing of like it's just like a fly looking for a place to land yeah and then you're just like oh that's fine but then it just gets really weird to where <laughs> the next part of the story is the fly trying to take him out on a date yeah it falls <laughs> for the guy yeah and you're like what yeah. was it not the sweat and uh, the odour that was yeah he's like oh that. baby yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, then they spill coffee and then it's like you fucking <laughs> summon Satan and he's not wearing any trousers it just so happens to you know as you know as Satan breaks the fourth wall as well. There's a moment when he talks about the black and white comic. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, he says yeah, yeah, this is the black and white comic. Yeah, yeah. And he's sort of looking towards the reader as if to say, yes, I know I'm a comic character. Yeah. <laughs> you waited long enough, my stinky agent. <laughs> but they're just like. Yeah, it was good. Oh, it's so it's good. good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I actually genuinely was laughing, <clears throat> and it's a very it's a very unique cartoon style mm-hmm. as well that kind of is very um, the style kind of brings your guard down because mm-hmm. you're not you're not you, you see it straight off and you're not threatened by it at all you're not looking mm-hmm. at it being like oh it's there's something fucking unreal I mean, it's very well yeah, done it's, but it's yeah. still a case of like is that more handwritten. Writing? I, I think it. Yeah, I think it is. I think all of it's like handwritten. Yeah. Um, but even then, it's like a you know a texting and yeah. driving story. And then I it turns out <laughs> that, 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 that was yeah he had, he was 
he was so angry and then he was like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. But then he was like, <laughs> it plotting. It took the revenge story. Yeah. It was also yeah. like a gay relationship. It was, yeah. It's like, like, what? I can't keep up with this. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was oh, like, it was just so funny. I get, that one was hilarious just because the end, just the yeah, yeah. like, I'm with him now. He's a safe driver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the wee note. Yeah. Oh, it's so much. good. Oh, I loved it. Go to the dining room. That was a good one. Oh dear, I'm saying that I'm leaving you Simon as a responsible driver. I'm just still kissing. And then, you know, my tractor feels have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Just so easy mm-hmm. to read. And she's just, she's very, she's very talented. Yeah. To get that in like three stories. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot happens. Yeah. And, and you go through it. It's, it's really good, easy. It's really well easy. fleshed out as well. Yeah. Because she could have just stuck them all together. Mm. So you had one full story, then the next full story, and then the next. But I don't think it would have worked. The wee breaks in between. That's right. Split the story up quite nicely. That's true, yeah. Go into something else. And it, it also go into something else gives you that element of surprise mm-hmm. when the next thing happens. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, that's in the variety we've had already, I think. Yeah, definitely. Fly, love you, baby. <laughs> but that, that was another thing I noticed with the, the good comic stuff, is that there's such a variety. Mm. There's no oh, yeah. one thing, you know, it's not like just superheroes or just funny ones or just yeah. surreal or that's right. just bio, bio, yeah, biopic or anything like that. You know, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, different. Tones all over the I mean, that was three books, yeah. all completely different. Yeah. One tackling mental mental health issues and, and drugs and everything like that, and one that's just like a diary, and another one that's like funny stories. It, it's just it's great. Yeah. And they're completely different styles as well, like mm. art wise. Did you read any other ones? I read It's Cold in the River, mm. Alex Potts. So did I. I thought it was very good. Indeed. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I thought it was very nicely drawn. I think his, his artwork has come on even more. And the colours were amazing. Quite a long one. Yeah. <clears throat> he had a great way of, of doing this, the sky and the water. The effects he had for painting that were so nicely done. Right from the start. Do you not think the cover, at first glance before you go into it? Uh-huh. It makes you think it's going to be something totally different from what it is. Oh, yeah, the covers. Like, what was it? Dark Oh, yeah, that guy. And oh. he was, that character was. Yeah, he's pretty grim, but. Yeah, but the book itself is. See, I never noticed until, yeah. until I read it that he was in the background. I just saw this ah, guy, yeah. and I saw the dark mm-hmm. sky, and I was like, fucking hell, this is going to be something totally different. It's cool than the other. And yet, it was still quite a. like an everyday. Yeah. Thing. So yeah, I really right away I just looked I thought, wow, look what he's come up with for doing the water. Mm-hmm. Yep. And That's also the yellow red sky was very nice. So I love that right away. His style is incredible. It really is good. Mm-hmm. He's good at faces as well. Yeah. I mean, they're they all they're all individual people. Mm-hmm. There's no one and the same. It's not like he's yeah, generic yeah. people. Yeah. Even body types and everything. Mm-hmm. Very good at characters. Yes, yeah. Very good indeed. It's also very good in loser characters. As we will get onto. Yeah. In this. So then he, he also did, there was photos, old photos, and, and then he'd taken the colour out of those, and they were black and white. So, mm. so that was... Yeah, and he's had a bit of the book. Yeah, that was a good idea, and it was well done as well. Yeah. That, that, that worked very well. Yeah. And again, n- n- nice drawings, nice tones. Mm-hmm. Men. Fucking red. Here we are with the red again. Yeah, yeah, red. Red always equals something that's dangerous. Um, yeah. Or something that's something important. I mean, yeah, something, something that's something something. important. And he was a shifty character. The main guy. Yeah. So oh, oh, the, the guy oh, the red yeah, and the, the yeah. I know. I kind of was believing he was a nice guy until he turned. Yeah. So I was disappointed with him. Mm-hmm. I know the main character was immediately yeah, suspicious, like yeah. but then you'd kind of were thinking he was a dick by the end. Anyway. I didn't know what his problem was. He, he was just you know. a bit. I think it was the fact that they've been 
locked up in that house for so long. I think he's just went stir crazy. Right. Yeah. That was the whole thing I was getting was that he just by the by the time they were actually coming out after so many storms and everything and being in this stupid houseboat thing. Yeah. He's he's just went mental. It kind of took a while though, didn't it? It yeah, was, it felt like we were well into it before all of a sudden he was being a dickhead. Yeah, and I thought, oh, he's a dickhead. No, <laughs> right. Yeah, because she didn't deserve. Yeah, any well, of he, that. Just, <laughs> he just completely. I can't remember the exact thing, but he was like, "Wait, well, something yeah. I got her about something." It was when he got up at half past four in the morning. Yeah. To go and go to work, which wasn't even work. He wasn't like he was being paid for it. No, and he was so insecure. And then, like he said, he was going to throw a laptop out the window. He just lost it. And then he didn't, he put it back down. He went, I'm going to throw this! Yeah. And then the next panel is just then put it in the back. That's right. Walk. <laughs> I looked at page 23 of this and That's went, it. oh, this, and I thought, this seals the deal. This this colour work is brilliant. 23? Ah, the panel there. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> the first panel is just so nice. Mm. So nicely done. And look, it's the sky. It's quite smooth, you know. Blotchy, not blotchy. So, and I noticed in this one, this was the thing. He, he's off to the pub, you know. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing in his other comic. He was off to the pub. Yes, the character in that. So I thought that. It's the same kind of guy. Kind of, yeah, it is. he's just not got glasses. That's right. He's very talented. He is, and he's obviously working at it and yes. trying new things all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. and it's, I couldn't go over how long it was. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. Like he's, he's, he's done good work. But mm. I just don't, I don't know if it, I don't know if I get it. Right, okay. It's very much like Quiet Disaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of mundane. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I get it. It's great. It looks great. I think if I relate to it more, because it's not about some... Well, it's kind of it's fantasy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's it's not like other ones that I admire that I don't click with so much are the more <coughs> you know illness based things. But this this has got that edge of being a made up story. Yeah, but for you it's not quite. It doesn't. It just doesn't quite hit. And I was actually I was actually getting quite excited for this one. Right, because it just looked like something so different, and it kind of is about kind of the same, and uh -huh. didn't really explain a lot of what was going on. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that gets me is I never, I never really know what's happening. You never really get a final explanation. You well, get bits of a story, yeah, and then you're kind of left to figure out the rest. Which, like we said, with quiet disaster, it's the stuff of life. No, uh -huh. no, stories don't normally get wrapped up. Yeah. You don't normally get the big bow that wraps it all up and tells you how it finishes, which mm -hmm. is fine. But I just I'm, I'm I'm always waiting for the conclusion with this stuff. Right. I'm always waiting for that final penny to drop and then I get left on a massive like oh, fuck what what's happening, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it always ends on something that seems quite big. Like quite a disaster ends with him going to sleep and he yeah. sees the dog with the glasses, That's as right. you said. Yeah. And then it's like, has he fucking died? Or is he is, <laughs> or is he Dreaming or what? You know what I mean? I didn't get it. And then this, it's like, has he died? Yeah, it's a similar, very what? odd ending. This yeah. one, where, where he's in that coffin. Yeah, and it opens and he's screaming. But taking him like, so is this a metaphor for something or other? Yeah, I don't. So I don't know. Maybe the ending. Endings are, endings are difficult. Really. Alex Botts, he does such a, a good job of infuriating me, but <laughs> I don't know. It does. Endlessly enrages me, but at the same point, I can't help but want to read more of his stuff because it's just yeah, it's very really readable. Yeah, it's great. I'm not going to not read his stuff, <coughs> but at the same point, I'm like, ah, please just give me an ending. <laughs> I like the the character, the the, the girlfriend's character. Mm, she, yeah, she looks nice. She's more relatable. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. round good. Oh, again, I think he's my favourite. And yeah. stuff I've done. I just really like what he writes. I like the art. I like the colour. What and how. <clears throat> I even like the... Yeah, I don't mind like the end of being like, well, what was that about? I don't mind. That's fine. 
I was surprised he was such a dick, you know. Yeah. And it seemed quite all of a sudden the main guy was just suddenly a dick. He's a bell end. <laughs> and I thought, oh, the last guy was a dick as well. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He's a bit of a drunk. A bit of yeah. Idiot. He's a bit of a, a total loser. The way he gave him nothing, the way the, the old guy just, he gave him nothing. He just said very stark statements. Eh? Yeah. And he was like, thinking, well, well, we're in on the main character's inner mon dialogue, you know. So he was thinking, maybe this, maybe that. And then he was just like, make it look like this one. Yeah. yeah and then it's, after all of it, yeah. he then just says like, yeah, he's like, burn it. Yeah, he goes, Get, make me a fire. And he's like, oh, out of water, I've used all the wood and planed it all. And he says, well, use this shit and chop off. Now. Yeah, I have no understanding as to what he's about no. or any of it. All he paid him was the bus fare at home. But, you know, it's up, it always seems okay to me because, you know, <clears throat> doing work that is, in the end, meaningless is what we're all doing, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I think I just maybe relate to it on some level, you know. Yeah. So overall... I thought it was great, you know, mm. I, I really think it's good. I, I think that Alex Potts is really a great. I and mean, we're definitely, anything he did again, it'd be like, right, let's have a look at this. No, it's still, it's still really stuff there. I'd be curious to see if the next guy's a dick in the next <laughs> comic, you know. It's good. Uh, the only other ones I had was a newer one from Neil Slornis, Torps and Tinder. Oh. Um, but it's kind of like a it's a, a compilation of stories that he's had in his other books. Oh yeah, right. Uh, or or <laughs> other books in general, okay. and he's uh, put them together in this. But it's bookended with his thing on his his tortoises and how he hibernates them, and there's bits in it mm -hmm. throughout where he's trying out Tinder for the first time. Um, and just online dating in general right and then he, he does like a an intro and an outro to kind of uh, look into the book um, but in between there is a story that he did for games for good oh yeah video games video, video games, games for good yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so I'd already read that, uh -huh. um, which was good, uh -huh. how he related to Zelda, and he also did another one in there, I'm assuming it's for something else, mm -hmm. which is all about board games, which I, I really uh -huh. enjoyed, because then I sat looking at it being like, oh, maybe I could try those board games, it's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Um, I like me, I like Neil's stuff, I really like his style, yeah, it's I like his wee cartoony style, um, and he, he's, his writing is just how he speaks. Yeah, right. and I love when people write like that, yeah. and it's just like, oh, I have done this, so for this I've done this, and blah blah. blah. Like, yeah. for the past few while, I've been struggling to just sit down and draw. I haven't made a book in a while, and it has, and it has eaten away at me a bit. Mm -hmm. Seeing my peers being so prolific doesn't help, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. And then he just sort of gets like, um, he's got a bit when he's like checking his phone, like um, he gets a text from one of the girls that's like. I like you, I want to, I want, no, I like you and want to get to know you, but let's maybe be pals? And he just, like, oh, oh well, I've still got you, he's turtle. You know, it's just, um, it's all just the way that he just yeah. kind of chats. Bye, bye. Anyway, thanks again, take care, bye. Good. Yeah, it's really interesting. I feel, I really like it, I like, I like his stuff. And he's, he gave me one of the best experiences that I've ever had at a convention. Did he? Yeah, it was at Glasgow Con, I went up and he was very nice at the table. He was just very honest. Mm -hmm. Sat and said, you know, have a look, blah blah blah, chat for a wee while, last night I was doing, uh, like who'd be to see and stuff like that. That's and then when I went past his table later on, he actually, by name, said like, hiya Tom, yeah. and waved. Is it still going about? I'm like, yeah, still having a look. Ah, it's still going about, yeah. I'm like, yep, yep. Which I thought was nice. Was it's nice. A, so we added, yes. we added the... Nice fellow. Yeah, really nice guy. Really nice guy. But he's got a good thing at the very end where he suggests other books to read. Yes. 
Please check it. Interesting. I, I think about that sometimes, but then I start thinking about everybody that I would forget. To yeah. Put in it. I think you can do enough of them, though. You can. I know so many people that do good comments. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That was good. Yeah. Continue to stay up to date with That Comic Smell on Twitter at That Comic Smell. You can also send us any comments or queries at That Comic Smell at gmail.com. To listen to our previous episodes or to follow us or subscribe, you can reach us at SoundCloud, YouTube, and iTunes. Thanks for listening. This beautiful version of Silent Night is brought to you by Chloe Kepner. To view her other tracks and buy her album, go to Bandcamp and search for Chloe Kepner. From all of us here at That Comic Smell, we'd like to wish you a very happy new year and hope that you all have a great 2018.